When she got off the school bus um, a few days ago, her father saw her and she was wearing a mask. Now in my school district, we have an illegal mask mandate, but she was wearing a mask, even though even under their own illegal mask mandates rules, she shouldn't have had to. But it wasn't enough that she was wearing a mask because she's a special needs nonverbal Down syndrome child, who by the way, three weeks earlier, the school district had called the parents and said, your daughter's taking her shoes off in school. Could you help us to make sure she keeps her shoes on? So they were willing to call about that. When um, her father saw her get off the school bus, she was wearing a mask and it was tied around her head with nylon rope. The mask was, was full of saliva. The girl couldn't breathe. Father's furious. How could they do that to my daughter today? So he went to the school and he talked to the school and he found out they didn't do it that day. They had tied this mask around her face every single day for the previous six weeks that she was in school. They just forgot to take it off that day before they sent her home. So when the, when the parent said, what on earth were you thinking to the teacher and to the principal, their answer was the school board told us that our students all had to wear masks. There's a special place in hell for the three people who did this to this girl. This girl experienced real child abuse at the hands of the Brevard County School Board. And I will tell you this, this session, there's gonna be hell to pay for the people who did that. Seeing no further business, Vice Chair Ben.